Hey, uh, I want to give you a warning. This is the thing after I, I kind of put it back together, but uh, temporarily I put this tape on there. I don't have electrical tape. Uh, this is painting tape. I put this on there just to test it. Just to test it. I tested it. It's working. Uh, it's all on the video, but I just wanted to say I used... I used a seven and a half amp fuse, uh, but the reason why I, I don't know which what fuse is supposed to go there. This thing does not say what type of fuse is supposed to go on there. Um, if you if 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 you can calculate it or what or not, uh, you know that's that's okay, but. Um, I, I don't want to guess so this thing brought I wrote it down here that the, the fuse that was on there was a 6.3 amps and I'm using one amp over which if it's not the right amp it could be a problem okay so I bought this used I don't know if the guy changed it to this if this is the right one or not you know if the person that bought, sold it to me put the right fuse on there or not i have no idea i just want to make sure you know that uh, i tried searching online and i couldn't freaking find it anywhere but i'm sure that information is out there somewhere especially those that might have a manual if you do please uh leave it on the comments let me know so that i can put the right fuse on here hold on What's up everyone? Thank you for supporting my channel by subscribing and liking my videos. This is Half Ball of Soup where everything goes. Make sure you check out my other more specific channels. I bought this from a grumpy lady. And uh, you know this thing sells on Amazon for about 120 to 100 forty dollars something like that and and you know i got she was selling it for 65 on offer up and um we kind of agreed on 50 dollars so when i got over there um, i noticed that it was missing stuff it was missing the solder uh, because you know she showed the picture of the actual item on amazon and i was a little bit naive all this time i was thinking like okay it's coming with everything so let me take my picture and make sure i got everything when i went over there sure enough there was no solder. Um, now, uh, I thought that the thing, it said, like, it said something like, oh, we only use it once or twice, yada, yada, yada. Yeah, this is the once or twice. Like, this thing is literally... God damn it, man. I wish I had a cameraman. This thing is literally gone. And I'll be honest with you. You know? Um, do I know much about this? <laughs> Not really. Uh... Do I have a degree in electronics engineering where I did soldering and assemble circuits? I did, 20 years ago. I don't remember much, but uh, I'll figure it out. Now, uh, for the reason that you're probably here is how to fix this guy, because look at that, it says right here, working. The lady met with me um, at the store pretty much, and she was very grumpy, like, no, 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 don't buy it. If, if it's missing parts, don't buy it, blah, 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 blah. And, and I'm like, no, fine, 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 here's your $50. And then, sure enough, when I come here and I plug it, nothing happens. Nothing happens. So now, I just came from the store. Then where is the stuff? I'm going to have to go get it. I just came from the store. I spent, like, over $15, one five, over $15 on stuff to fix the stuff that I need to try to play with this. You know? So now I need to fix the thing that I'm going to try to use to fix the thing. And uh, it should be pretty simple. Uh, let's get that going.
Okay, I put some tape on there temporarily. <laughs> As you can see, the, the 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 wires were getting very hot and they were melting my shrink thingies. So I didn't even bother. I just wanted to see if I can get it working um, before fixing that outright. But uh, I'm gonna turn it on. I'm gonna plug it in. See what happens. Okay, it's plugged in right now. If it's on or not, I don't know. Let me hit the back button. It made a sound. Oh shit, oh shit. I never used this thing before. Um, I'm kind of, well, maybe I can test this guy which is nice and easy because there is no cover in the back I don't want to make the mistake of taking putting a finger in there because I don't have the cover I don't want to make make the mistake of make, putting my fingers in the back I guess I'm gonna try the arm see if it gets hot and then try to fix it up put it all back together and then try it again I, I never used this thing before I don't know how it works so I'm just gonna turn this side on. It says 600 and ooh, ooh, ooh. it's heating up fast. God damn, this thing is heating fast. I mean, I don't know why it's a 620. If 620 is the the temperature that it should be, or you know, most commonly used, or what? I have no idea. But let's try this guy. I guess I can just dunk it on here. Whoa, it feels hot for sure. Or is it me? Maybe it's me. That's it. It's definitely bubbling. I'm gonna turn it off. Well, this guy is definitely back to work. This was the previous one. They commonly probably break on there. I can tell you that these guys probably break because people, instead of putting the instead of putting the the fu the, the the fuse in here first and then screwing it in, they probably shove it in there first, and then when they come to put this thing on there, you know they. Let's assume that this is the fuse. They put it into the back of the... You know, let me unplug this first. Okay, the damn thing is unplugged. I don't want to electrocute myself, but... So, you know, in the back hole... Let me see if I can just... Anyways, you know, in the back hole where the fuse goes, uh, probably what they do is they put the fuse in first, and then they try to put this last. So when they come in with this, most likely this thing gets jammed you know the uh, the edge gets jammed on the side of the of the thing on the side of the thing and it, instead of going inside the hole it just when as you tie you're tightening it you're just pushing this thing in there and then the freaking cap just blows off where is the cap let me see i don't know where it went but you know it blows the cap of uh, It blows the blows the cap of here where the fuse is supposed to go. You just boop, break it up. And that's it. It's a pretty pretty easy fix. I just gotta make sure I I get these wires. Uh, on the first one, I need to get like a stronger. <laughs> uh, it's my first time ironing in like almost twenty years, but I feel like there is things that I'm missing. Some some new tricks or something to make that that the solder kind of flow and kind of travel it seems like it's just staying in place and making just a big ball I was using this cheap pass thingy though which is not I, I don't know what the temperature on this is but it seems like I was having a hard time getting it getting it hot or at least keeping it clean 
and that's how you fix this guy. Thank you for supporting my channel by subscribing and liking yeah. my videos. <laughs>